Hi everybody. So today I'm out here and I'm gonna harvest one of my most versatile tomato plants that I grow every year. It's a staple of my garden. It's such a workhorse and you may have, probably have never heard of it. And the tomato I'm talking about is the legend tomato. It's a legendary tomato in my opinion and it really belongs in everybody's garden. If you're saucing, if you're slicing and eating it fresh, if you're cooking with it, it's a very versatile tomato with a medium, medium to high acid content, has a really good tomato flavor, and it's marketed as being late blight resistant. So it produces up until the last, last little bits of summer is over, and I keep picking tomatoes from it pretty much from June, uh, late June, early July, all the way through the end of August, early September, and I'm gonna harvest my legend tomato plant today. Let's see how much we get. So this harvest is all from one plant. We got about 20 or 25 tomatoes just right now. Um, I've already harvested probably a good 10 off of this plant so far, and I've got a ton of green ones left to go. I only grew one legend plant this year. Usually I get enough tomatoes off of that where I'm giving them away. I also grew San Marzano's this year, and I got a whole Trader Joe's bag full of San Marzano's that I gave away. Um, so yeah, I just can't believe how prolific they were. It was great. I love it. I will always grow the San Marzano. I will always grow the Legend. I will always grow the, grow the Pink Brandywine. I almost forgot to mention the Pink Boar. Boy, that would have been costly. I'd have been sleeping on the couch for a week. My favorites. Um, and if you want a heavy producer, Mortgage Lifters in most years is another way to go for heavy producers if you want the, like, the red tomato. So now that we've harvested the Legend, the only thing left is to taste one. Let's see what it tastes like and do a little taste test review. So the first thing I notice is that the, the skin is very thin. Um, they don't hold well. So if you're looking to store them long term, canning is probably your best bet. Freezing is your best bet. Um, they'll last from the, typically, in my experience, they've lasted in my house for maybe the last about five to seven days before they have to go. Um, and a lot of that's the thin skin. The trade off is that it's got a really, really pure tomato flavor. The Legend Tomato has what I would call a medium acid content. It seems to be right in the middle where it's not too acidic, but it's definitely acidic enough to can, in my opinion. Um, we've made salsa from it before and nobody died, so it must be okay. I would follow a recipe though and not just wing it. Never wing canning. Um, and you know, it would taste like, it basically tastes like I would expect a tomato to taste like a pure traditional tomato. It has that smooth tomato flavor. It balances acidic. It's got a yeah, very little sweetness to it, um, but it's not overly tart, not overwhelmingly acidic. Um, very middle of the road, so it's a very middle of the road tomato, um, and it's well balanced uh, to grow. It's determinate, so it's easier to grow. Uh, you don't have to micromanage it. You really kind of set, forget, fertilize every here and there. Throw some Epsom salt or whatever you want to do with it. Uh, I do Epsom salt and coffee grounds and eggshells. Um, and, you know, it produces very nicely for me. So the Legend Tomato. Great producer, easy to grow, 
well-tasting, delicious, well-balanced tomato. As always, I appreciate you watching my videos. Um, if you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe. I'm brand new at this, so we're getting better each time. Thanks.